This episode of Scott vs. Box is sponsored by Top Munch, where I open up a Top Munch box. Good thing I didn't want a bottom feeder box. <laughs> Stop. Scott vs. Box! box! This is Top Munch. I don't know if you know this, it's world's flavors in a box. <sighs> Finally, Eskimo flavors. So let's see. It's filled with all sorts of good foods. And if you want a Top Munch box of your own, well, check out the link in the description below and you can get yours. Get yours now. Well, multitask, watch this and get yours now. Ooh, ooh, what's all this? What's all this? What's all this? Well, we'll, we'll get to the food in a second. Hold on, I gotta read some stuff here. Top music. We at Top Munch believe in helping our customers experience all the flavors, sights, sounds that every culture around the world has to offer. Oh, well that's neat. With this mission in mind, we have launched our music library. What? Top music whereby we will educate you about the music from different cultures each month. <gasps> so, what? Is it? What? We will select a diverse set of songs from each country and prepare a playlist of the same, which you can listen to. We recommend listening to the songs in top music while relishing on Turkish treats in the top munch box. Turkish? Is there Turkish music? That sounds fun. I've I, You tell me to name a turkey song. I don't know a turkey song. I don't know a Turkish musician. I don't know nothing. That's kind of neat. I'd be very curious to know. So I can scan QR code, paste this. Oh, there's also topmunch.com slash top music. Put that in there. Get some turkey tunes. Gobble gobble suckers. Uh, so features songs from Turkey this month. Menberry, which is Turkish folk music. Tatar Seftateli, Turkish folk music. Kal Havazi, Turkish folk music. Ahu, from the artist Mabel Matisse. And Kalbimin Tech, from the artist Iram Derici. That, this is totally new to me. I am, color me fascinated. And then also, we would love to get a feedback about your Top Munch box. So you go to topmunch.com slash feedback and you like to earn $10 when you shop on our online store and all sorts of stuff there. That's fun. All right, there's more stuff to check out here, more stuff to read, but you know what? I'm hungry, so I'll get to you in a little bit. So while uh, I can't even give my feedback on topmunch.com yet, when what is all this? What? There's so many colors. This is bacon and pesto and is this a sandwich? Is this a sandwich? There's no way. This is blowing my mind. I think they sent a sandwich. This this is crazy. I can't even. This ain't no act. I'm legit like freaked out. This is all. This, what? What are you? What are you? Top Munch, what are you? Let's see. Okay. So we got stuff here. Is this going to explain the stuff and things? No, not so far. This looks like it's explaining other things and stuff. Okay, okay. There's a lot, there's a lot to take in here. It's a lot to take in. So many things. Okay, so here's my card of everything that it explains. So this will be very useful because these are all Turkish foods. This is fascinating. This month's snack pack is from Turkey. Okay, okay. Which one do I go with first? It's a, you can't eat your dessert right away, right? Okay, this seems fair. Ulker clip sesame sticks. Okay, sure. Some sort of sesame stick. I don't know if it's candy or what, but I'll read more of this. We have put together a selection of Turkish snacks. Uh, all the ones listed here. Blah, 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 blah. We are sure your taste buds are going to be satiated by the time you're done with your box. It, uh, this month's box launches our travelog, Top Travel, in our music library, Top Music, which fo focuses on our mission to educate people about different cultures. Oh. Well, I gotta have one of these sesame sticks. Mmm. Mmm. It's like a breadstick. But it's got sesame seeds all over it. I like it. Mmm. That's just tasty. We love it if you love us a review or hashtag on social media. Uh, do send your feedback. Feedback at topmunch.com. And where you feel we can improve on uh, helping out. More, please. That's my first thing. I want more of these. Send me more. I want to eat them. I don't know.
Mmm. I like those. Those are all good. Those are all tasting good. So top travel. We aim to educate you to help you travel better. Good. I've been doing it wrong. I've been riding in the trunk of a car like some kind of moron. Our venture to help you, uh, help you venture out into the world. We at Top Munch believe in helping our customers and experience all flavors, sights, sounds that every culture around the world has to offer. You mean I go to McDonald's everywhere? No. With this mission, we have launched our travelogue, Top Travel, whereby we will educate you about the different attractions in every country, along with local tips about how to gain an experience that can be preserved in your treasure chest of memories. <gasps> That's so cool. Over the course of the next few months, we will not only be educating you about the sites, but also helping you plan your next getaway vacation. Oh, so I'll look at some of these locations in a second. Well, hold on, I wanna to get to another snack here. Oh, these things. Hazer Baba Orange Turkish Delights. Sure, okay. The history of these Turkish delight dates back 500 years. These things don't look any older than 300 years, am I right? Okay, so it contains real orange peel. Gluten-free, handmade, no gelatin. Sure, okay. So it's one of the oldest sweets in the world. Legend has it that in the endeavor to cope with all of his wives, the sultans summoned all his confectionery experts and ordered them to produce a unique dessert to add to his collection of secret recipes. Hmm. Oh, it's got an interesting texture, a little, little powder stuff on here. Mmm. Turkish. This is weird. But like good weird. Mmm. I like that. That is good. Kaiser Baba. That is good. Suitable for vegans, suitable for vegetarians. Product of Turkey. I like these things. I think good. Both these things are a winner. Okay. Two for two. Let's see, what's this thing? Oh boy. Hopefully they wrote this out a little bit easier for me to understand. Uh, Ulker Sizzy Vic crackers with cheese. Ulker, in their tradition of manufacturing tasteful delights, bring to you Sizzic Vic. It uh, consists of a salty cracker sandwich with a delicious filling of cheese. Hmm. All right. I like a good cheese cracker. All right. So the travel stuff tells me about all these different places to go. Cappadocia. Uh, what else here? Ankara. Euphesus. The bazaars. It's a marketplace. Istanbul, not Constantinople. Any visit to Turkey is incomplete without spending a few days in Istanbul, previously Constantinople, a transcontinental city that is the country's economic, culture, and historic center. The top sites in Istanbul include Tokapi Palace, Sulmyamnyamnyamnyam Mosque, Chara Church, Hagia Sophia, the bazaars, the Blue Mosque, and the hordes of museums and bazaars around. I don't even know what all these words are. That's how uneducated I am. That's how uncultured I am. Let's try one of these cheese crackers. Very good. Not too shabby. These are the snack. These are something like, these things I would like happily eat a bag of in a replacement of Doritos. And these things, are just like a good, awesome candy. These things are like, well, I should eat something and I don't hate them. I don't love them. They're perfectly acceptable. That's what these are. Perfectly acceptable. I enjoy it. This thing scares me. I don't know what you are. But I'll get to you. I'll get to you. What next? Oh, what are these things? These are... Malban delicacies. Malban is an old Mediterranean delicacy. Its characteristic flavor comes from the use of mastic, an aromatic resin of the mastic tree, mainly native to Greece. Oh, sure. Looks like chicken. Malban resembles fruit jelly, except it's traditionally made with grape molasses, thickened with starch and flavored with rose water. 
mastic or orange blossom and stuffed with pistachios. My one these days are covered with apricot paste, rose petals, crushed pistachios, even chocolate. Hmm. Well, that must explain these. This must be the orange blossom. This must be rose water. And this was be the chocolate one. Hmm. Hmm. I think I gotta go with rose water. Okay, this thing is very unusual. It's very unusual. Oh, all these things are unusual. They're from Turkey. And I ain't from Turkey. I live in America. I've never been to Turkey. But now with these treats, we want to just send snacks over. This is really bizarre. I like it though. Man, this is weird. I have never had anything like this. This is so weird. I like it though. Where do I go to get this? Ankara? I'll go. I'll go, Turkey. I'll get me some of these. Come back. This is great. I like this. They're informing me of where to go and where to eat all these things and I won't get full. I like that though. Rose water. Ooh, it feels so fancy. All right, what else? What else? What else? I got this thing. Ooh, it looks like a wafer cookie. Ulker chocolate tea gofret wafers. Crunchy chocolate wafers, a creamy and delicious chocolate coating. Ulker chocolate wafer provides that familiar crispy flavor full of happiness. Ooh. <laughs> You'll be able to enjoy this wafer wherever you like, at school, at home, and at work. All right, seems pretty standard. Seems like a standard chocolate wafer treat. I don't think there'll be anything too unusual with this. But I'm always game for adventure. Oh, eating the paper. Eating the paper, why didn't you tell me? Hmm. Oh, that's good chocolate though. That's good chocolate. Oh, that's nice. Mm, I know, one of those snobs like, oh, that's better than American chocolate. Yeah, 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 it is. <laughs> it is though. All right, what else? Yeah, hmm, oh. Cappadocia. Set up on the Antilonian Plains, Cappadocia is a geological oddity of honeycombed hills and towering boulders of ethereal beauty. Ethereal dummy, yeah, I got it. Wow, very cool. So many sights and sounds. And then what's this? Albani. Albani. Um, this is a milk chocolate coated bar with caramel and biscuit. The word Albani in Turkish translates to take me. Oh, <laughs> why didn't I call this Scott versus Albany? No, wait, Scott versus Take Me? I'll figure it out. <laughs> Take me. And that is what this chocolate is all about. Take me and enjoy a sumptuous spite. Well, I will. Well, I will. All right. Chocolate, caramel, and biscuit. Kind of like a turkey twix. You know, kind of like a turkey twix. It's all in the mix. I like it. That's good too. I'm getting full. I'm getting full when I've got this thing, this big old sandwich. Is this a sandwich? Anti, oh boy. Anti pip fist ikli test pismanye. Oh, this thing's all kinds of confusing. It contains, it may can, it contain Traces of tree nut, soybean, egg, and milk products. Look at this. Look at this. This is blowing my mind. What is this? What is this? What is this? Says Serrazat tell pistachio cotton candy? This is pistachio cotton candy. This is one of the most unusual things I've ever seen, and I am way excited to try this. I'm a little hesitant, but I'm going to try this. No question, that's why I saved it for last. Pismanye, or pishmanye, is a Turkish sweet made by blending flour, which is then roasted in butter and pulled into fine strands of sugar. Oh, so that's all sugar. It is garnished with ground pistachio nuts, although the texture is similar to cotton candy, uh, both differ in preparation methods and ingredients used. The earliest Turkish 
reference to Pismani is a refer is a recipe by Sirvani, a physician from the 1430s. The Persian uh, form Pashmak, which is the origin of the Turkish name Pismani, occurs in the poetry of the Iranian poet Ibu Ishak, also known as Bushak. Pasham in Persian means wool, and Pashmak means wool-like. Well, that explains that. Yeah, it looks like a Looks like I'm gonna eat a big old sack of wool. Big old sack of wool. It kinda looks like a burrito too. Look at this. Look at this. It smells very sweet. Okay. Oh, this is this is such an unusual texture. Alright. Oh, it's it's uh it's not as thick as a cotton American cotton candy. That one everywhere. You know, the texture is different, but it still has that sort of dissolving thing that it does in your mouth. This is weird, man. I'm eating turkey pistachio cotton candy. Hold the turkey. <laughs> Hold the turkey. Look at this. This is like, it's like a 60 year old man's bathroom sink where I'm just pulling the hair out and I'm like, yeah, Mr. Thompson won't mind. <laughs> yeah, I will to eat hair. What is that? It's kind of pink. Ours is just pink. This stuff is a different color. It looks bizarre to us, but it's tasty. It's a mess to eat. I don't know how people eat this. Oh, man. I've made a huge mess out of all this, Top Munch. You, you made a mess. But I'm excited. I've eaten, I've eaten treats from all over Turkey. I got the orange things, got chocolate wafers, got sesame sticks, got all the jugs and stuff. We got this big old cotton candy. This is awesome. Top Munch. Get your own. You can get the top music. You can get the top travel. You can top it all off with some Top Munch. Go check out their website. Get your own. Click on the link in the description below. This is awesome. Oh, hi. Didn't see you there because I was facing the wrong way. Yes. Unboxings have occurred. Hit subscribe. That way you'll see all unboxings. And if you want to see more Scott doing all sorts of things, well, there's a video right over there. I don't know which one it is. It's just a video. There'll be more videos after that. Just more. More!